The new VCL Rich Edit Control enables your users to create or edit rich text documents with ease using a comprehensive set of commands that provide access to numerous text formatting options and built-in customization dialogues. Programmatically, these commands are implemented by T action objects. By linking the actions to elements of your UI, such as ribbons, menus, and toolbars, you can easily create a powerful word processor in your application, similar to the ribbon rich edit demo shipped with the VCL rich edit control. In this video, I'll build a part of this demo and show you how to introduce advanced text editing capabilities into a ribbon application using rich edit control commands. First, I'll create a new project using the DevExpress VCL Ribbon 2013 Application IDE template. The template creates a project with a simple ribbon form and the essential set of DevExpress components required for the selected ribbon style. I'll switch to the Object Inspector to display the properties of the form, rename the form, and make it maximize its window size at runtime. Then I'll select the ribbon control and switch its color scheme accent to blue. Now I'll add the TDX Rich Edit Control component from the component palette to my form. Switch to the object inspector and make the Rich Edit Control occupy the entire form area that is free from other controls. As you can see, it represents an empty document page with horizontal and vertical rulers attached to its top and left edges. In order to utilize actions provided by the Rich Edit Control, I'll add the standard VCL T Action List component from the component palette to my form. Each Rich Edit Control action is associated with an image. So to store action images, I'll add the TCX Image List component to the form and link it to the action list. Then I'll link the bar manager to the image list, thus sharing the same image list between actions and ribbon buttons that I'll be creating and linking together in a moment. I'll select the bar manager to display its properties in the object inspector, expand the image options properties set in the object inspector, display the image's properties drop-down list, and select the image list from it. Now I'll double-click the action list to invoke its editor and in the context menu, click New Standard Action to display a list of standard action classes. As you can see, the list contains a number of rich edit control classes registered under the correspondingly named category. I'll select three document management action classes from the list implementing load, new, and save operations and click OK. Corresponding actions are added to the action list under the rich edit control category. I'll switch to the Object Inspector to rename the category to File to illustrate its purpose. In addition, I'll rename actions by shortening their generated names. Then I'll close the Action List Editor, select the Ribbon tab, and rename it to File. I'll invoke the tab's context menu and add a ribbon group with a linked toolbar to this tab. Now I'll rename the group and toolbar to Common. Invoke the group's context menu and add three ribbon buttons to this group. Now I'll link each button with a corresponding action. Notice how the buttons instantly display both the caption and image associated with the linked actions. I'll run the application to see how it works. In addition to an empty document page, my application now displays three commands for managing document files. I'll click Open to load an RTF file. Even with this minimalistic UI, the application provides basic text formatting options via rulers and the context menu. I'll save my changes and create a new document. I'll save this document and close the application. 
Now I'm going to add more commands to my application. I'll add support for clipboard operations. First, I'll double click the action list to invoke its editor, then navigate to the standard action classes list, select clipboard specific actions, copy, cut, and paste, and click OK to add them to the action list. Then I'll switch to the object inspector and rename the category for these actions to home and shorten their names. Now I'll close the editor, invoke the Ribbon Controls context menu, open the Tabs editor, create a new tab, and name it Home. Next, I'll close the editor, invoke the Home Tabs context menu, and add a group with a linked toolbar to host ribbon buttons that I'll later link to my clipboard actions. I'll rename the group and toolbar to Clipboard, and add three ribbon buttons to it using the group's context menu. Now I'll select each button and link it with a corresponding action just as I did with the file management buttons. And I'm done with this group. Let's run the application to see how it works. I'll load a document, select the title, and execute my clipboard commands. And they work perfectly. In a similar manner, I'll add three font formatting commands to make text bold, italic, or underlined. I'll double-click the action list to invoke its editor, navigate to the standard action classes list, select required actions, and click OK to add them to the action list. I'm going to link these actions to commands in a separate group of the Home tab, so I'll pick the Home category for them, shorten their names, and close the Action Lists editor. Next, I'll invoke the Tab's context menu and add another group with a linked toolbar to host ribbon buttons that I'll link to the font formatting actions. I'll rename the newly created group and toolbar to Font, and add three ribbon buttons to it using the group's context menu. Now I'll select each button and link it with a corresponding action just as I did previously. Then I'll select all of these buttons while holding down the Shift key, switch to the Object Inspector, and set their Button Style property to BS Checked to make them toggle buttons. Now their checked state can be switched with clicks. And I'm done with this group. Let's run the application to see how the toggle buttons work. I'll load a document, select some text, and format it using my font formatting commands. And that's it! I've just built a simple ribbon-based word processor that provides only a few text editing capabilities available in our VCL Rich Edit Control. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.